Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Ever since Pope John Paul II issued his encyclical Rosarium Virginis Mariae, I've been wondering, are we going to get some more mysteries of the rosary? As you know, John Paul II, in this encyclical that I've got on my screen now, in this encyclical, he suggested, or he, he said that he thought that the rosary, the 15-decade rosary, could be enhanced by adding into the rosary a fuller remembering Christ with Mary, a fuller learning Christ from Mary, a fuller being formed to Christ with Mary. And it would happen, it would happen by expanding the areas of contemplation. So as you know, we've now got the mysteries of light in which we think about our Lord's baptism, wedding feast of Cana, proclamation of the kingdom, transfiguration, and institution of the Holy Eucharist. For John Paul II, he said that the mysteries of light would would expand, you know, it would expand the chronology because, as he says in this passage, it is fitting to add, following reflection on the incarnation and hidden life of Christ, and before the suffering of the passion and the triumph of the resurrection, a meditation on certain particularly significant moments in his public ministry. And, you know, for the most part, except for a couple of traditional, you know, traditionalist Catholics who who want to be awkward, the mysteries of light have been embraced by almost the entire church. But I wondered, are we going to get some more? And so I've been looking around on the internet to see if there are more mysteries being considered. And, okay, first of all, there are mysteries out there which are not a whole set of mysteries, but rather one extra decade one extra decade within a mystery. And one, a couple of them are pretty traditional. What I mean is they've got quite a long history. I found out that the Carmelites have a six decade rosary. So they've got the joyful, the sorrowful and the glorious in the traditional Carmelite, in a, like the traditional rosary. But in each of the three, you know, mysteries, they have, they have extra mystery. In each of the, whatever, the three sets of decades, they've got an extra mystery. So, as you can see here, the joyful mysteries, they add the Immaculate Conception. In the sorrowful mystery, they add the body of our Lord placed in the arms of his sorrowful mother. And in the glorious mystery, they add the patronage of Mary, Queen and Beauty of Carmel. And this is an adaptation of a thing that was called the Brigitine Rosary. And the difference between the Brigitine and the Carmelite Rosary seems to be that in the Brigitine Rosary, there is the seat of glorious is the patronage of Mary, Mediatrix full grace. The sixth decade, well, it's actually like 18 decades, 6, 12, 18. It was worn by Teresa of Avila and she prayed that sixth decade rosary so it's got a bit of provenance and it's well supported and i mean saint Teresa of avila we're going back to the 16th century so that's that's one type of expanding the rosary and a similar way is by adding an extra decade for the holy souls in purgatory so some people use a six decade rosary in order to add as the sixth decade on each of the mysteries an extra decade meditating on the holy souls and their suffering and praying for them to be released in fact at lourdes our lady was holding the sixth decade the six decades rosary and that was because in that area of france it was the custom to add an extra decade for the holy souls in purgatory and you can buy six decade rosaries you know quite easily you can find them on the internet this one here has it's got saint bernadette there reminding us the link that there is between Our Lady of Lourdes and the sixth decade, the sixth decade rosary. Okay, so that's one way of of adding to the rosary, but I don't think that's that's never going to be like formally or officially added, is it? These this is clearly just a a pious extra devotional custom. What about will a pope or will the church ever put before us another set 
of mysteries. Like we've got joyful, glorious, sorrowful, and now mysteries of light. Will a pope ever give us a new set? And I suppose with John Paul II, he formed his set really from considering some of the ideas of saints, mystics. So Father George Preger, I think he's a saint now. He he was the one that John Paul II took his inspiration for with the mysteries of light. So what about what else have we got out there currently that could potentially be made into a new set of mysteries? Well, first of all, first of all, we have what could what are called the hopeful mysteries, which you can see in a number of books published by Catholic Way Publications. This is one of them. Holy Rosary Through the Visions of Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich by Catholic Way Publishing. And the hopeful mysteries, as the name suggests, actually, it kind of develops, it develops John Paul II's idea. John Paul II's idea was there's parts of our Lord's life that aren't included in the current set of mysteries. And so he went in the middle and gave us something in the middle that we didn't have. Well, hopeful mysteries goes before the Annunciation. So events that were before the Annunciation. And so the five hopeful mysteries that are proposed in the series of books published by Catholic Way, we have the first one, the creation of all things in view of Christ and his Holy Mother. The second one, the promise of the Redeemer and co-redemptrix. That's like the Profuto Evangelium, where Eve he has announced to her that um, Satan's she overhears the news that Satan is going to have his head crushed by the Redeemer and the co-redemptrix. Then the third hopeful mystery, the birth of the Immaculate Virgin to Saints Joachim and Anne. The fourth hopeful mystery, the presentation of Mary in the temple as a girl. And the fifth hopeful mystery, the chaste espousals of Mary and Joseph. So as you can see, they lead up to the Annunciation and they prepare the way for the Annunciation giving us creation or the fall the Immaculate Conception the presentation of Mary and then the marriage of Our Lady and Saint Joseph so it's like getting you ready they're hopeful as they're looking forward to the fulfillment of redemption so that's one set that is out there the hopeful mysteries but you know what there is a rival hopeful mystery I found out that another person Galactic U Catholic Universe, a little bit after this uh, book was published, not much though, suggested the hopeful mysteries of the Rosary as the following The Road to Emmaus, the appearance to disciples and Thomas, Jesus appears to Mary's mother, appearance on the shore, and appearance to Saul and his conversion. So for me, for me, you know, this set, um, I'm not so keen on this because look, Really, Jesus appearing to Mary's mother, that should be the first one, right? Um, and also, although these are beautiful things to meditate upon, and they they expand, they expand the first glorious mystery, don't they? They expand the first glorious mystery. They're all aspects of the first glorious mystery. And so you can actually meditate on any one of these during the first glorious mystery. It's an expansion of the first glorious mystery. I wonder what, what, what is hopeful about it, though? What, what, in what way does this build on the virtue of hope? I suppose hope of eternal life rather than hope in the coming of the Redeemer. This is about hope for eternal life. So maybe this, these should be called the mysteries of the resurrection or something because they're all to do with our Lord's resurrection appearances. But they're out there, so I'm letting you know about them. Next one. Next one, I've got two sets, actually. The Sister Emmanuel offers us. Sister Emmanuel is a very big promoter of Medjugorje and she's got a book, The Rosary, A Journey That Changes Your Life. And in The Rosary, A Journey That Changes Your Life, she proposes both Mysteries of Compassion and Mysteries of Mercy. So Mysteries of Compassion, The Good Samaritan, Widow of Nain and the Resurrection of Her Son, Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus, the heart of the shepherd, the blind people of Jericho. What can I say about about the mysteries of compassion? I've got to say, I'm 
I'm not wild about them because for me, I mean, it dots back and forth. The heart of the shepherd is very different from Veronica wiping the face of Jesus, which is a historical event. And then the Good Samaritan is a parable. The blind people of Jericho, I think it's because, you know, there is the blind beggar, isn't there, Bartimaeus? But another account, I think St. Matthew's Gospel gives us two blind beggars. Um, so she's not just saying Bartimaeus, but she wants to refer to both. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not convinced about this. And again, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus in the middle, not at the end. So anyway, she, she offers us the mysteries of compassion. And then the mysteries of mercy prodigal son jesus and the samaritan woman jesus and the adulterous woman in jerusalem jesus and the good thief and peter's denial again with the chronology i'm not so sure about why surely jesus and the good thief should come after peter's denial um and also we've got a parable mixed in with with historical events. I think I prefer the mysteries of mercy to the mysteries of compassion though, in in Sister's um, defense. But maybe some of you uh, really like these mysteries and have prayed them. I've got to say, I've, not, I've never prayed through these mysteries like I have with, um, with the first um, hopeful mysteries that we looked at. But you know, mystery of mercy is a popular name because I found two more sets Claiming Mysteries of Mercy. Here's one by a person called Jerry. Jerry. And Jerry gives us Mysteries of Mercy. And he suggests a Mystery of Mercy. A rather unusual take on things. First Mystery of Mercy. Doing for others. Second Mystery of Mercy. Judging others. Third Mystery of Mercy. Pardoning the sinful. Fourth Mystery of Mercy. Merciful Prayer. Fifth mystery, the good news. Now, Jerry has done something very different from the traditional rosary here. Because the traditional rosary is about con concrete things, historical events. And so his set of mystery of mercy, it, it just breaks from that. And it, and it gives us, this is more about an ethical this is more about an ethical examination of conscience directly, because obviously when you pray the rosary, it's like an examination of conscience. For me, this is like the fruit. When you pray the rosary, normally it says fruit of the mystery, fruit of the mystery. And that's the thing that you're meant to pray about and ask for and examine in your life as you pray that particular mystery. And he's given us a set of fruits, like doing for others. That could be the visitation, judging others, I don't know, that could be in the proclamation of the kingdom, or even it could be the the um, the death of our Lord on the cross, or it could be um, Our Lady being, being it could be loads of things, Our Lady assuming to heaven, it could be all kinds of things, pardoning the sinful, yeah, we, we could definitely have that in the crucifixion, with our Lord pardoning the, the repentant thief. Merciful prayer, I'm not sure where we would, we would say, well, if a fruit of mystery is prayer, we could say the agony in the garden, maybe, or again, the, crucif the crucifixion where our Lord prays for those who are crucifying him. And the good news, obviously, the proclamation of the kingdom, we, we have that one. So I'm not so sure about Jerry's suggestion. And then another set of mysteries of mercy, and this one that's on the Regina Chaley Press website, it's interesting that this is, this is proposed by John N. Lupia editor of Roman Catholic News, received during reflection on March 28th, 2011. So actually, this is, well, it's after John Paul II, sure, but it's, it's before many of the other ones that we've just looked at. And these mysteries of mercy are the following. Mary's Magnificat. Jesus absolves the paralytic. Jesus absolves the penitent woman. Jesus forgives all sinners on the cross. Jesus institutes the sacrament of confession. Of all the mysteries of mercy, I like these the most. I like these the most because 
Mary's Magnificat is actually a reflection on the Immaculate Conception because Our Lady talks about my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. I know he hasn't included that in the text here but for me Mary's Magnificat is praising God's mercy in her Immaculate Conception. Our Lord absolving the paralytic reminds us of the connection between sin and suffering. Our Lord absolving the penitent woman reminds us that even the greatest, the most shameful sins can be forgiven. The fourth, our Lord forgiving all sinners on the cross is also a contemplation of the crucifixion. And the fifth, our Lord instituting the sacrament of confession is good because we, we don't think about confession enough, do we? What, I'm, what I don't like about this again is a lot of these are actually present. You know, the first one there is, is actually the visitation. Uh, and then the second and the third are in the third mystery of light. The fourth is in the crucifixion and the fifth is in the resurrection. So for me, in terms of the in terms of historical, in terms of like the pattern of the rosary at the moment, where you think about historical events, this is breaking the mold. It's breaking the mold. And I don't think that the entire Catholic world would ever embrace you know, something breaking the mold of the rosary in, in this way. But this website, it says, please write to your local bishop, asking him to endorse this proposal to our Holy Father Pope Benedict, so that these mysteries of mercy may be established with the seal of the church's approval for the benefit of the whole church throughout the world. You know, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. But and I don't, maybe they're thinking Pope Benedict's got more influence than Pope Francis, or may, maybe this is just, uh, hasn't been updated in a few years. Now, finally, there are others out there. I know I have seen others. So I was able to find a little booklet called The Royal Mysteries, which again is, which again is a bit like The Mysteries of Light. There's a little pamphlet that was that was produced in England, uh, published in England, called The Royal Mysteries. But finally, I've got one more that that is of interest, which is the Rosary of God the Father. Now, I don't believe that this set of mysteries um, is actually in created by Mother Eugenia. But Mother Eugenia, you may have heard of her. If you've seen the, the, the booklets, The Father Speaks, she is the one behind that, The Father Speaks. The idea is that God the Father wasn't too happy that he doesn't have a feast day and he feels like he's not really being appreciated as much as, much, as, much as he should be. And so he speaks to Mother Eugenia uh, to say that he wants to be he wants to be recognized and he wants a feast dedicated to his fatherhood. And I think one of her disciples has invented the rosary of God the Father. I'm sorry if I sounded a bit flippant there about God the Father and the Father speaks. I don't personally, I don't believe it's an or I don't believe it's authentic. I think it's probably pious. Uh, maybe the lady had a pious imagination about God the Father, but I, I don't buy the idea that God the Father needs a feast day when every Holy Mass is offered to God the Father. Anyway, this this pious individual has created the Rosary of the Father. It's not really the Rosary of the Father. It's an extra five, five decades, an extra set of mysteries. I suppose we might call them the paternal mysteries of the Rosary, paternal mysteries, the first paternal mystery is the triumph of the Father in the Garden of Eden. This is the Proto-Evangelium, basically. The second mystery is the triumph of the Father at the Fiat of Mary during the Annunciation. The third mystery is the triumph of the Father in Gethsemane when he gives all his power to the Son. The fourth mystery, the triumph of the Father at the moment of every particular judgment. The fifth mystery, the triumph of the Father at the moment of final judgment. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm not convinced by these mysteries and I don't think these will ever take off. 
because the second mystery we already actually have the Annunciation is a mystery already um the first mystery yeah we've got uh, this is this is quite nice if it's going to be paternal mysteries even off the top of my head they've got to be events of that are particularly attributed to God the Father in sacred scripture so definitely creation definitely maybe then the the creation then maybe the separation of the sexes then maybe we could have i know we've got the transfiguration already don't we in the baptism they're already there in the mysteries of light the particular judgments that's not bad gethsemane we, we already have final judgment yeah final judgment that's a good that's a good one um so i'd maybe need to think about it a little bit more to think of paternal mysteries Maybe something from Old Testament, maybe something like the parting of the Red Sea or something as, as one of the great acts of Almighty God or the Passover as a great act of Almighty God in the Old Testament. So here we have it. These are different suggestions, different ideas of new mysteries, new sets of mysteries that could be added to Our Lady's Holy Rosary. My conclusion is... I asked the Holy Father not to add any more mysteries to the Rosary. I think, I think the four that we have are sufficient, and the others, yeah, you know, if you get, if you benefit from them, use them. In fact, I know of a priest that that when he said all four sets of mysteries, and he's with a group, he just says to people, "Has anyone anyone want to offer a mystery? Want to do a spontaneous mystery?" So, and someone then will say, oh, how about we meditate upon Our Lady spending time in the temple? Or a person might say, how about we meditate on the final judgment? And they just do it like that because the rosary is meant to be a pious timing device to meditate, to contemplate an event in our Lord's life and in salvation history. The rosary is a method of prayer that was given to St. Dominic. Our God, Almighty God didn't give him, didn't define to him the particular mysteries. I've discussed that in another video. But in the last 200 years, we have settled down on the 15. And in the last 30 years, we have been given the mysteries of light. I think, I think it's too much to add another set of mysteries anytime soon. And I pray of... I pray that we don't get a thematic set of mysteries, like, like the Mysteries of Mercy, where we're looking at thematic things. You know, if we're going to get new ones, I want it to be chronology, either either like Final Judgment, which is still to come in the future, and particular government judgment is still to come in the future. If things are in the future, fine. Things that are after, that aren't covered after the um, Assumption of Our Lady, or otherwise beforehand, the hopeful mysteries in that set that included from before the in the Annunciation. Anyway, I'm sure you've got an opinion on this one. Please put it in the comments below, especially if you think that you have an idea or you've heard of another set of mysteries that might add or uh, enhance the Holy Rosary. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.